Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Raghavan Mishra and in this video we will be automating calendar or date picker widget using Selenium and Java. It is very important to make the date selection generic so that the any date can be selected on fly and we can verify the functionality and compatibility of that widget um, basically date picker or calendar widget with our application. So let us go to the our project and create a simple class called let's say calendar and we will be actually uh, writing the generic code uh, for the selection of the date okay so for that what i would uh, do i will be actually uh, initializing a couple of static variables so which would be my target day and then target month and i will initialize every variable with zero so target year that is also zero so again static let me write static end Or it is public only so static current date current date equal to zero current month let me put comma current year equal to zero okay along with that i will have a couple of more initialization for jump to month jump to month and i will have one boolean variable for boolean variable for uh, increment okay so which is by default true so let me start writing the code in the main method so what i will do i will actually go ahead and uh, give the date to set date to set so this would be my selection so uh, let me tell you guys i mean this would be my uh, application wherein i have date picker and i will be selecting the date uh, from on on this widget okay so first of all i will click on this and i will select i will give a date to set if it is like uh, june or april date, right? so it is supposed to go to the june and select the date so it is supposed to go to the april and select the date if the target uh, date or date to set is like uh, june then it has to reach to this and select the particular day or date okay so that is what we are going to automate and it is kind of you know tricky and i want uh, to write or make this code very generic so that user can select any date on the fly and uh, he can verify the functionality of this application and uh, by uh, like when he click on something right he should get that uh, date selection reflected on this uh, field okay so that is what we are going to automate all right so in my example i'm going to choose say uh, june 2023 and uh, i'll be actually writing get current date month and year okay so th this is going to be my co i mean journey method so i'll be writing a method for this so uh, pub static wide static wide and get current month and i'll be actually so in this i'll be getting the current uh, date okay so here what i uh, can do like i can uh, initialize the calendar i can call calendar and calendar so that will be the uh, uh, gregorian uh, uh, calendar so which may show the get instance 
get instance why it is not coming so let me see i have to use this java.util calendar so get instance should be there yeah so as you know that uh, if you are using the gregorian uh, calendar right so it will be showing the last month so you have to increment the month by one so let me change this to maybe i have okay let me import calendar equal to yeah that's right and shouldn't be uh, public static let me rewrite it again calendar java utils then cal equal to calendar again java utils dot get instance yeah and that's it yeah then uh, i will be separating the current day to like from the calendar cal and get current i'll be getting the date so day of the month i should get day of the month and then i similarly i will be fetching the current month from the calendar so get and calendar again so calendar and uh, then month and i said as i said like you have to increment the month by one uh, because it is a gregorian calendar which will be showing the last month so current month what i have uh, given here current month okay so let me and then i will have current year so which is nothing but the year 2023 so again i will fetch that from the basically this is the current date this is the target date okay so i'm just uh, getting the uh, uh, actually the calendar instance and uh, wherein i will be actually separating out the current date i mean i will be selecting current day and uh, current month and year uh, with the uh, calendar uh, instance okay calendar object so calendar calendar dot year okay so this is how we can separate it out so once it is ready i can basically since it is static i can that's why yeah so i'll can make a separation so current date then current month month then what i will have current year okay so this is how you can print and let's see if uh, we can print yeah so today is the 16th of january uh, 2023 and uh, similarly then uh, i can create i can i mean uh, separate out or split the uh, day month and year of the uh, day to set okay so let me uh, get the get target date and month so i have to define one i have to write one method for that also public keys are getting stuck yeah so i'll be passing that day to set here date to set so that will be my string it will be accepting one in a string and i will be passing date to set here let me give date to set and date to date to I'll be passing date to set okay so uh, once i pass this i actually have to split that uh, and uh, i mean like we have to separate out uh, 26 20, uh, 06 and uh, 2023 so basically day a uh, month and year we have to separate out okay so how can we do that we can use uh, some string uh, method like uh, index and last index and substring okay so let's quickly uh, do that so first index 
I will be initializing that date to uh, split which we have to so that is date to set and uh, I will get the first index which will be like 26 okay so this is the in first index so I'll be I'm interested in 26 basically the a day so this would be my first index so just before that I mean that will be uh, called out as uh, a day and the last uh, will be last index i should keep that again this forward slash and this will be separated out so year will be separated out right? separated out right so last index or so let me write last index so date to or the end date to set dot last index that will be again forward slash and yeah then uh, what i will do i will actually uh, separate out the day and uh, so the day would be like day to uh, set yeah dot substring so substring uh, and this substring would have let me choose if there is any other availability uh, yeah substring so index begin index and end index is there so so begin i mean this would start with the zero the index of this string is zero so I'm going to write this and the first index would be the last index so because I'm going to separate out that separate out the day so the first index would be the last index for the day okay similarly for month this is going to be uh, month what I'll do I'll actually date to set substring and the first index would be the index for the month and mind you you have to add a one because you are going to count the uh, from the zero right so right after this forward slash you have to count uh, so zero six so last uh, would this would be the last index okay so the last so with this we can get that zero six okay similarly for year what we will do string year and uh, so I can extract the year also. So I'll be choosing the last index plus one and then the date two. I'll calculate the length of that string. So with the length function, you can calculate the length of this so this would be taken out at as i mean this 20, 2023 will be stored in year okay so we have separated out uh, day month and year of the target uh, date basically so and then what we will do we will take out we will convert them as an integer okay so let me write or uh, we have already initialized right them with the a static variable right i mean with the zero so target date so let me write target date equal to in teaser dot int and parse and basically parse int and i will write target day day and then target month yeah in teaser in teaser equal to integer dot parse end and tar target basically month we are storing and then target year target year equal to integer teaser dot parse end and i will be passing year into this so these are in the string so we are converting them to the integer okay cool so we have written two methods right which will be giving us the current date and the target date okay and we have splitted the day and month and year of the current date and the target date okay so now let me see target date month so 
we are actually calling this now i will be putting one simple print out print ln statement and i will be checking out the current or the target date basically target date after calling this get target date month and year method so target day and then i will be giving some space and the target month then i will be giving some space after that and then target year okay let me just run it as a java application okay so this is that date okay which we will be selecting using the uh, calendar widget okay in selenium so so far so good and now what we will do we will actually uh, write the block method for the uh, calculate how many months to jump okay so we will be writing one method calculate calculate let basically calculate how many months okay how many months how how many months to jump okay so we will be writing one more static method for this to calculate this public static white and in this method will be we will be implementing it so now we will just uh, put one condition saying if the target date okay target month basically target month is and minus basic uh, target month is uh, i mean if you subtract the uh, uh, target month i mean uh, current month with the target i mean uh, from the target month right uh, I, if the, that subtraction that uh, that uh, subtraction is basically greater than 0 then uh, we can uh, move forward otherwise we have to move backward okay you got it right so if the target month is like uh, june and the current month is like uh, uh, 1 okay which is january so the of course that uh, uh, like it has to you know move 5 uh, months uh, forward right to select the date uh, on the june month okay so that is what the logic is so if the uh, subtraction is greater than zero so what we will do here we will actually be subtracting if target month minus current month okay uh, so if that is greater than zero so what we have to do we have to subtract we have to jump by jump to month so that target month minus current month so that would be the integer value again so current month else what we will do we will write the else block for this else jump to month jump to month would be like uh, current month if suppose i mean uh, we are in february and uh, the uh, uh, target month is like january then uh, we have to subtract to uh, we, we we have to subtract uh, uh, january right i mean like uh, 1 from 2 okay so which would uh, give me 1 so we have to move one uh, a month back okay in the calendar so that is that and the target month and we will set the increment to false which was uh, selected by default so this is the boolean value and uh, this will be selected uh, to false then in case of backward moving okay so this is that and uh, what we can do now okay so the this piece of code is also ready so let me set the indentation correctly so now uh, we have said we know that uh, where to where we have to move backward or forward right based on this calculate how many months to jump so we'll get the number like we either we have to uh, move forward or backward 
so just in case if we are uh, select date uh, target date is like uh, ahead like uh, next next month we have to um, i mean it will be calculating uh, and, um, by uh, jump to month by target month minus current month and if it is backward then the uh, it will be calculating based on the like current month minus a uh, target month okay so as i uh, said like if you are in march and the target date is january then march is like third and january is first then it will be you have to move two months backward right three minus one and you have to set the increment by uh, false okay so now um we are good now what we have to do we have written three methods here right so let me fix the error what is that error for okay and uh, then what you have to do you have to initialize that web driver now and uh, basically we can print this also if you want that's why yeah so jump to and this one okay to calculate so we have to jump and so that is a static block right so and are we returning anything month to jump no just we are getting the value out of that so let me month by what is that error here calculate how many months okay we have to call like this how many months so i'm, I'm just calling this and then system dot dot or print in let me call that directly yeah. like this okay there is some error so instead of calling this let's um, yeah check this jump to month by which because this is again uh, a static variable right so yeah we can get that value um, here and uh, we are all good now we can initialize the uh, driver right so we have created the driver object if not we can create simply by web driver web drive public static web driver web driver equal to web driver and then driver let me import and yes we have successfully and then we will uh, be creating the constructor of uh, we'll be calling uh, we will be creating the object of uh, chrome driver and then what we can do like we can put some implicit bait here and just before that because we are not using the exe right so we can uh, directly call the web driver manager and uh, we can set up that chrome driver okay so no need to download the latest exe uh, or brow browser uh, chrome driver so if you are using this so it is going to take care of that but so now you can just put some uh, implicit weight implicitly wait and, and duration duration of second so let's say there is an implicit weight of uh, you know 10 seconds so before throwing any error um, element not visible anything of that kind it has to wait for web driver has to wait for 10 seconds okay so now i'll be calling web driver dot get and this is my url which i'm going to call so yep now it has to be inside the double quote because we are passing the string to the get method and now we have to get the x path of this element basically 
and uh, xpath of this calendar widget would be driver dot find element by dot xpath and uh, then i have to so this element is in iframe so we have to see what is that iframe value is so let me inspect and see if it is actually inside the iframe or not as it says your selector hub uh, plugin says it is inside the iframe so you can trust on that and uh, you can find if the date picker is basically yes it is inside the iframe so you have to select you have to switch to this iframe first so let me assert the xpath of this copy xpath and we have to switch to that driver dot uh, switch to then iframe frame basically and then driver dot find element by dot xpath and then you have to give the xpath of that iframe okay so we have switched to that and now uh, we can pick this date picker okay so you can go to the uh, selector hub and you can get the xpath of this copy relative xpath or you can come to this just select this select this and we can take the xpath of this okay so this is the relative xpath i will be using this xpath now and i will be clicking on the i will be clicking on that element basically so that's it and then what we will do we will actually move uh, the cursor or move the uh, move to the move the control to the uh, target month so for that what we will do we will actually put the x uh, one loop from 0 to the jump to month by okay so this is the month and uh, we will actually so based on like our target date we have to move the control to that particular month and then we have to select the date so this is how you can do that so what is the condition so if the increment that value which is by default set to true in case of uh, forward moving and uh, so if that is set then we have to click on this element otherwise we have to click on this a particular so we have to get the xpath of this also so let me just get the xpath of this okay so i'll be relative xpath so i'll be using this so driver dot find element by dot xpath xpath and then i will be clicking on this element okay and uh, if not then what we have to do we have to again call driver <coughs> and we have to move backward now this time by dot xpath and date to set is this time we will be moving backward so we have to take the x path of this element okay so relative x path we can choose and by our x path this is how you can move backward okay so since it is january and uh, we will not be going back to the 2022 okay so we will be having our target or date to set uh, to some future date okay uh, which might be uh, your february or any date on the february or in 2013 basically or 2023 and after that we can set that increment to false you got it right okay so this is how you can do that and then once um, we have moved to the um, given month what we have to do we have to select the uh day right so how we can select the day so let's see so suppose if i am going to collect uh, uh, click on 17th or 26th right in our case it is 26th june so how we can do that so basically let's see 
the xpath and and yeah you can see right xpath or some date like it is uh, 21 22 23 right so let me find if something relevant to the yeah so you can see p link text and uh, link text right so that can be uniquely identified uh, on the web page so let's take the link test um, uh, this time okay so we will be selecting that target day so find element by a link test by dot link text and so that link test would be nothing but the 21 or we are we, we, we have to use our target date here right so target day so this is how you can do that and then you have to click on that find element and uh, then by dot link test and in teaser basically so that is we have to convert that in teaser to to string now right so it won't accept uh, until we convert that so basically this uh, method will be accepting the string so our uh, target day is right now set to in teaser so we have to uh, convert that in teaser to to a string a string basically so that is done and then we can click on that okay we can pause the screen uh, for a second to see if that is done or we can do that here also that is increment i mean do we need to no i think we have already uh, said that value false right in this yeah so that is not needed and i think we are good now so let me pause the screen thread dot sleep for a second and we can add the x so declaration okay so that's done or you can surround that uh, particular piece of uh, line or code by try and catch so let me run this so so far we have what what we have done so basically we are actually uh, separating out the uh, day month and year of uh, from the date to set uh, you know date so this is the given date and we are actually getting the current um, uh, day and current month and current year right from this uh, particular piece of uh, code so this is for the current month okay so we will be getting current date current month current year by calling this method and we will be uh, separating out the day month and year from using this uh, method okay and by using some uh, you know first index last, last index and uh, substring method of the string class and then we will be actually calculating how many months to jump on the calendar so so this is the code so if uh, the current um, uh, date or uh, is uh, kind of you know uh, is is uh, less than uh, target date, then we have to move uh, backward otherwise we have to move uh, you know forward basically if the target date uh, is greater than the current month so we have to move forward so we will get that uh, uh, jump to we will uh, get that number uh, in this jump to month okay so we will be moving to that month using this loop okay and after we uh, move to that month we have to uh, how how we will undo that so we will be incrementing basically uh, we will be increment keep incrementing until we reach to that uh, month okay so we, till then we will keep on clicking on uh, those uh, two uh, elements for um, uh, forward moving this and for backward uh, moving to the jump we will uh, we will be keeping uh, we will be clicking on the previous one button okay and then uh, once that uh, uh, month is you know uh, 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 selected we have come to that month we will be actually clicking on the target date with this statement okay so let's run we have uh, run it we have done the dry run but let's see if it is actually you know getting executed or not yeah 
it is selected uh, 26 to 26 23 what is that so is there anything wrong so let us find out if something is wrong with that so 26 and uh, 26 so we have to move by 5 let's put some sleep and then we will be closing yeah here and then we will yeah so this is that tried statement so we have to close that loop okay so this is that and then we have to click on that uh, day okay let me run it again okay so it is moving to yeah jump by 5 and it has selected 26 okay cool so let's see if it is actually executed and uh, what is the result of this so it is not test ng so it is uh, you can keep this code in the test ng also uh, in the inside the test annotation so that you can get the pass or fail here you can put the exception also but uh, this is how you have to uh, incorporate the generic code into the selenium framework just in case like if you want to select the date on fly right okay i hope uh, you have liked the uh, explanation and learned uh, something from this video and please do uh, uh, like and subscribe uh, to my channel if you have not done so and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in uh, comment section and i will see you in next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching